Hello mummies, welcome to my channel Learning with Flora. In today's video, let's see the November month's first and second week planner for playgroup kids. So let's get started. The theme and topic for the month is seasons and festivals. In seasons, we will discuss about winter and in festivals, it's Diwali. Events of the month are Rajyotsava Day, that is 1st November since I am staying in Karnataka. We celebrate Rajyotsava Day. Then Naraka Chaturdasi and Children's Day on 14th November. Deepavali is on 15th November. Bali Padyami is on 16th November. And birthday of Guru Nanak is on 30th November. Letter of the month is H. Numbers of the month are 2 and 3. Color of the month, orange. Then, in English, under language development, we are going to talk about seasons and the changes in the surrounding which we are. In vocabulary building, it is new words like house, horse, helicopter, cold, winter etc. Sentence structure is Diwali is the festival of lights. Rhymes you can go with hot cross buns, humpty dumpty, two little hands go clap clap clap. Storytelling the ant and the grasshopper. Picture reading it is H alphabet associated words. Free writing go left for revision. Early writing it's H. Reinforcement activity. We can revise all the syllabus where you felt the child required or needed more practice while you assess the child in the month of October. Then Montessori language activity you can give sandpaper or sand tray tracing of alphabet H. Math, picture reading that is the number book. Rhymes, you can do revision of the previous month. Rhymes, then oral, it's numbers from 1 to 10. Writing, number 2, then reinforcement activities, you can revise what all the child needs more practice according to the assessment you made. Then Montessori math activities you can give many DIY activities which help the child to quantify the numbers that is number counting activities. Then in AVS or environmental science it is theme and concept according to that it's Diwali children's day and seasons. Fun activities you can go according to theme and concept. Gross motor skill you can ask the child do sit up. Music so you can listen to songs which are related to Diwali and children's day. Games you can play with the child outdoor if the situation permits otherwise indoor games what you act normally do with the child you can carry on with those activities then under fine motor skill development you can introduce the child to child safety scissors and child safety knife that is your butter knife you can give play dough or your chapati do to the child and you can ask the child to cut with scissors or butter knife. Then in art and craft activities, it's coloring, dia coloring, then craft you can make handmade greeting card and spend time with the child together. Origami, again making dias using easy origami folds. Social and emotional development, talk, 
and give some information related to the events of the mom and also ask the child what he or she feels cognitive skills it is logical reasoning worksheets and free play it's the child's interest and in cultural subject say stories related to diwali festival then kids yoga it is animal pose that is hippo and snake pose you can introduce to the child physical exercise it is sitting exercises in that it is three flap and one clap montessori activities in exercise of practical life you can give dusting and cleaning things which we do in the house for the festival so you can ask the child to or teach the child how to dust or clean the objects like table chair etc sensorial activities you can do diy smell bottles and you can ask the child to smell this i will show you in my later video how to do diy smell bottles then activities which you can give to the child are karnataka flag coloring then diya coloring trace and color the diya talk about how you will celebrate this diwali worksheets related to math and language and you can also do uh, color matching or diya matching activity all these activity worksheets i'll share in the later part of the video thank you for watching